Hello everyone, this is the story of Toxoplasmosis, the story of Basbusa and the Nader's family. This is Nader and his wife Ratiba, they are happy family. Nader and Ratiba are waiting for their first baby as Ratiba is pregnant. They are living with Nader's mother Nimu and the sister Linda and their lovely cat Basbusa. Basbusa is Linda's responsibility. She is feeding her and changing her letterbox. Basbusa loves raw meat. One day, Linda fed Basbusa meat infected with Toxoplasma gondii tissue cysts. Basbusa became infected and started to shed unsporulated oocysts in her feces. Linda changes the letterbox every week and this period was enough for the oocysts to become sporulated and infective. Linda changed the letterbox and her hands were got contaminated with the oocysts. And when Linda was preparing salad, her hands contaminated the food. After about one week, Nemo was severely ill. Linda, I am so sick, I can't take my breath, took me to the hospital. Nader and Linda took Nemo to the hospital, where Dr. Tamer examined her. Dr. Tamer saw signs of pneumonia and said, let's start antibiotics. After returning home, Nader noticed a swelling on Linda's neck. Oh, I feel so sad for Mama. But uh, what is on your neck? What? What is it? We should go to the doctor. They went to Dr. Tamer, who requested lymph node biopsy. The biopsy revealed the Toxoplasma gondii tachyzoids. They returned back to Dr. Tamer, who prescribed a combination of pyrimethamine and sulfonamide, and also folinic acid in the form of leucoverine for the expected bone marrow toxicity of these drugs. Don't worry, Linda, the treatment will be successful for you. However, I have some important questions. Dr. Tamer wanted to know the source of infection, so he asked Linda, Do you prefer eating raw meat? No, I don't, but Basbusa do. Who is Basbusa? My lovely cat. Oh, so we found the source of infection. Who also deals with Basbusa? My mom, my brother, and his wife, Ratiba. Do any of them take any medications? Yes, my mom is on, uh, is on corticosteroid therapy for her joint pains. So, Mrs. Nemo may have acquired the toxoplasmosis also, and this is the cause of her pneumonia. We should confirm. Dr. Tamer requested antitoxoplasma IgM and IgG tetris for Nemo. Mrs. Nemo has high antitoxoplasma, IgM, and IgG tetras. So, Dr. Tamer prescribed trimethoprime sulfamethoxazole therapy. By this time, their neighbor Serena visited them. Hello, how is Nemo now? She is alright now, thank you Serena. Ratiba, you should do screening. You are pregnant, and I heard that toxoplasmosis is dangerous for babies. Oh, Serena, you are right. I will ask Dr. Tamer. Ratiba went to Dr. Tamer, who requested serological tests. Hello, Dr. Tamer. I am pregnant in the second month. Should I do anything? Oh, yes, Ratiba. Toxoplasmosis can cause retinopathy or brain affection of your baby. You should do these serological tests. Oh, Ratiba, you have high IgM and IgG and low IgG avidity, and this means that you have recent infection. Ratiba was infected, so Dr. Tamer prescribed the spiramycin to prevent fetal infection and requested amniocentesis and PCR to diagnose fetal infection. You will do PCR for, from amniotic fluid sample. And if it is positive, we will start the pyrimethamine therapy after the end of your third month of pregnancy. Dr. Tamer advised them you should keep away from Baspusa. 
No, we can't. But Busa is one of the family. So take care of her. She should be treated. Don't feed her raw meat. And clean the latter box every other day. They become all right. Serena came. So how are you all now? We are all right. Thank you, Serena. And this is the happy end. Thank you for listening.